Let's spin the wheel to see what's next. Oh, yeah. What's it going to be? Ooh, it lands on Frostbite like it is right now. I mean, I'll decimate that. That's my favorite, but like, um... I'm very scared of Grand Prix if we do more racing here. I don't know. Plaque Attack is hot. <laughs> Barnstorming, that could be bad. I don't know. But let's find out. Here we go. Here we go. Round and round and round it goes. Where it stops, nobody knows. Mega Mania. All right, Mega Mania. Let's um, update some stuff here. The one game on that wheel actually had nice. Um, I feel like, from what I remember, it's kind of similar to Laser Blast, which I hated last week <laughs> at the end. Um, We'll see. You gotta do all of them. Let's see what this is. For free. For free. Activision presents Mega Mania, a new video game for your Atari video computer system. What? Oh my god, dude. The uh, <laughs> the dude with like the guitar scrolling across the bottom. <laughs> that got me. That was great. <laughs> and yeah, I did notice that too. <laughs> it's gonna make me insane. Um, yeah, we'll get the quick version here. Forty-five thousand points to become a member of the Mega Maniacs. Oh, that's a great name. That's a great name, dude. You have to enjoy the rich sounds of Mega Mania. And here we go. Those are the hamburgers. I feel like this could be a bit louder, but. You let me know. Okay, so they all have like their own patterns that they're doing. Eh. No, dude. Oh boy. Boop, boop. Yeah, the guided missiles makes this a whole heck of a lot easier. I'm gonna turn this up a bit. Let me know if this comes too loud. Whatever. Oh. Screen flipped for some reason. Even on my CRT there. Stream screen still looks okay. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I've got uh, lots of unique enemies. Each type has their own pattern. Nice. Uh-oh. When I get the pattern on these, they're just coming in hot. And these were the, uh, steam irons? Or no, those are diamonds or something. I don't remember. Okay, they do relent. If they just straight up came down, that'd be a problem. Boop! They're actually a decent chunk of the way there already. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on with this group. Uh... Sirs? Hmm. Get over there! Yes! 
more early 80s rock that that was a great commercial um we're oh we're damn near halfway there already to the patch goal Yeah, I'm gonna get this first try here. Like, there's not a doubt in my mind. Oh, okay, so they changed their pattern a bit here. Sin Lao, welcome in. How you doing? Oh, oh wait. I was looking at that emote. <laughs> not paying attention to this. Yeah, we uh we did dragster uh, early on in the stream. I got the patch for that, which was not the easiest thing. Getting under six seconds in dragster. And now we're taking on Mega Mania. This is literally my first attempt, trying to get forty-five thousand points. Which yeah, I'm gonna get here in this wave probably. There we go. Done. Easy game. Like, this does definitely get harder for the actual game. Yeah, this was too easy. If they would have set it at maybe like 80,000 or something, I could see that being a bit more. So this is a tricky pattern here. I'll double check. I don't think it cared which game mode you're doing. Nope. No. I read it in the manual. <laughs> it definitely said 45,000. The, uh, the patch page also said that. Exclamation point patch, the first link there. So it's definitely harder now. But this is pretty cool. I like the variety of the, the enemies in this, for sure. And then they have, uh, oh, how many did it say it was in the manual? Like eight or nine different enemy types. Yeah, I might be screwed here because I didn't get in here to possibly shoot one of these dudes. Gotta wait for this second dude to descend. Get in there! Okay. Oh boy. The space bow ties. Knocked out two of them so far today. I'm just gonna play this one until the game over here. Because why not? I might double check to see if, like, the patch battered for game mode one versus game mode three? So I could see game mode three being more difficult. But it's nice to kind of get some of these quick ones too or like the very first one I started on this challenge robot tank oh man that took me four streams to get like the highest level patch out of that one it was hard I think it ended up being like 17 hours total or something oh my god okay okay here we go these hamburgers are aggressive Aggressive burgers. Or maybe these were the burgers. Oh, I forgot what the manual said already. Calm down with the shooting speed there, friend. They mean oh ooh, oh boy. 
<laughs> Woo! I mean, if this was me personally in the game, that would be my strategy. Actually, there is a uh, 2600 game called Fast Food, where you play your character is like a pair of lips with teeth, like, and it stays on the right side of the screen, and various food comes at you from like the left that you're trying to eat. Uh, you want the good food, you want to avoid the bad stuff, but there's stuff like burgers and shakes and hot dogs in there for the good stuff, and I think like... Oh, it might be... Eggplants were bad, or something. I think that's actually how you lose lives if you eat something like that. And it's, a uh, Conceptually a weird game, which is why I like it. <laughs> Easy game. Okay, fine. Wrap around. Yeah, this patch was way too e easy. Decimated it. I, I like the take on it, like literal fast food. It goes across the screen very quickly. And it isn't lost on me here that your uh, laser blaster kind of looks like the Enterprise a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> uh, these things are coming in hot. But like, you know, this with these things coming in like this quickly is I'm pretty impressed with this. Definitely gives you a little bit of white knuckle kind of feel. There we go. Haven't ran out of energy yet. Whoa! I'm gonna keep up in the pattern here. Yeah, it seems like it might be a little bit too easy to... to get extra lives as well. Or I might be giving myself not enough credit. Maybe actually I'm good at this. I don't know. But I mean, this is like my literal first game of this, at least in recent times. I'm sure I've probably played this in the passing a little bit in the past, but I don't really remember doing it. So I'm back to maximum lives again. Oh my god. Carve a path. Okay. This is warming me up for the shmup challenge that should be coming. Um, I'm kind of hoping I can launch it in September, because I want to call it shmup timber or something. I'm still kind of parsing through a list of games and stuff. Waiting for some to come in in the mail. The shmup A to Z challenge. 1cc A to Z challenge. And by A to Z, I really mean the numbers, too, so it would be like a number category, but essentially what I'm thinking on how it will work is once I get the list compiled, I'll pick like five games for each letter. I'm assuming there is five games for each letter for what I have available to me. Uh, some of them not so much, and then other ones like S, I think I have like 50 <laughs> games or something that I have to parse down. But, um, I'll have... I'll have you all vote on which one to play, and then the goal will be, eh, it might be like a bit game dependent as well, but like I want to try to learn to 1cc them. Maybe this is a problem. I don't have to get in there on one of these. Wait for my chance. That wasn't it. And then I might look up stuff too, like if, you know, a true ending in a game is maybe like two loops or something like that, I'll have to figure that out, but that's kind of the idea of what I think I want to do, and that also give me a good excuse to play these shoot-em-ups that I buy all the freaking time. 
But yeah, I'm going to cover a wide variety of systems and stuff too. So anything newish on like PS4 and Switch, like that's in play. Um, I think probably the oldest I'm going to go back to is maybe C64. I don't think I'm going to do any Atari. 2600 for the challenge. So there isn't really like a whole lot of like what I would call a side scrolling or a vertical scrolling shmup on a 2600. There's a lot of fixed screen stuff like this, which is cool, and I, I kind of consider these more something like uh, what you would call a proto shmup. Or like there's elements to what you kind of think of today. I'm definitely not going to do any rail shooters either, because I don't really like them that much. So you're not going to see any, like, Panzer Dragoon, or Star Fox, or um, Space Harrier, or something like that. Spoiled for choice on the C-16? Man, I'm definitely willing to listen to uh, suggestions for it, but, you know, my strategy has been like, I'll look up a name of a game on YouTube for a minute or two just to kind of give a quick judgment and feel like, is that something I could tolerate playing for potentially weeks at a time? <laughs> if it's really hard? The answer is maybe on it, but yeah, it'll... I think each letter I'm going to try to have like a variety on like now again, five choices per letter. And I'll try to like make sure like if there's one on NES, I'll try to get one on different consoles and try not to double up if I have a choice about it. Oh, I barely got that. So like this one, there's definitely like elements of shoot 'em up in it. Maybe you could call it, but I would not count this as like something that I would potentially put on the list for voting. And also, even if I did, like, how do you 1cc this game <laughs> exactly? I don't think there's, like, a... That's the other thing, too. There has to be, like, a definitive end to the game. And not just, like, straight-up high score. Like what this one is doing. Maybe there's a kill screen on this. I don't know. But... Pretty good here, though, for my literal first game. Ah, eh, crap, the right side's gonna be a problem now. Okay, there is a gap. Gotta wait for it. Go! Boop! Sir. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, I think I would make the tweak on this one for maybe not making extra lives is easy to get. The yeah, enemy patterns and variety is awesome. This is almost a really good game. But yeah, I think it's just definitely too simple. Like again, this is my first real play where I've actually like tracked anything on it and I just freaking killing it. Almost weave through that. This pattern is almost bullet hell-esque. <laughs> almost. Ooh, that was lucky. Extra life or keep going, baby. Cycle back through the hamburgers. Boop. Oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Got our pattern carved here. Missed. Let's wait for you to go back the other direction. There we go.
But yeah, I started the list with uh, all the physicals that I own, which is already kind of a ridiculous amount across all the various systems <laughs> for the shmups. I didn't get like a full count, but I'm guessing it was maybe like 130, 140 games. Just stupid amounts. So the physicals and then some of the digitals I own on like Steam or something, added those in. Uh, then I went through the Mister, uh, the arcade stuff. Kind of previewed a lot of those on YouTube. That took quite some time. Added some choices in from that. Uh, same thing for the Neo Geo, which would also be via the Mister. Um, let's see what else is I gonna do? C64. I need to kind of get some choices on that. Oh, there we go. Game finally ended. So, there we go. Easy game, dude. PB259. Eight six zero, so absolutely shattered. Oops. Absolutely shattered that one. Double checking. Make sure there's no like catch here that I didn't pick up. Uh, it was on four, I think. If you reach forty five thousand points or more, you're eligible to become an official Mega Maniac, simply send us a picture of your TV screen showing your score along with your name, address, and yeah, it doesn't say which game mode it has to be, so yep, yeah, we, we killed this. No problem. Boom.